Oh, sorry, you just caught me doing a little light reading here. Uh, this is amazing. This is a minute by minute timetable and account of what went on on January 6, 2021. This is airtight. This is ironclad. And at this point, if you are in any way denying what this reflects, an armed insurrection, a seditious conspiracy, an attempt to overthrow the government of the United States, if you're still taking that position, I can't help you. I can't help you. Hello, good Sunday from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. We need to talk about this Brittany Griner thing because there's a lot of distortion and lying going on. First of all, we need to get her home. Why? Because she is an American citizen. And that's really all we need to know at this point. I realize she is a polarizing figure. I realize that a lot of folks, perhaps me in some respects, have some political problems with irrelevant. We have to get her home because she is an American citizen. But there are distortions going on here from every point of the compass including Griner's attorney and Griner's agent. But let's back up. That was a smart move last week for Griner to plead guilty to those drug charges. And here's why. Because it enables the Russians to save face and say that they had justification for this. And that will clear the landscape a little bit. Now, the only way we're going to get her out of there is with a prisoner swap. Let's get that straight. This now makes that a little more likely, and I was very encouraged that Bill Richardson, the former governor of New Mexico and former United States ambassador to the United Nations, as a representative of Griner and another detained American, is going to Russia to see what he can do. Now, he is not an official White House connection here. He's not free to speak for the White House, but he's smart, he's savvy, he's experienced, he has an amazing skill set, and he will move the chains on this. Now, is Griner innocent in all of this? Oh, just hell no. And there's a lot of misinformation and disinformation going on. There's this idea that she is somehow economically discriminated against and that she had no choice but to go to Russia to make a living. Really? Now, is this a matter of social engineering or just economics? I'm hearing outrage expressed. Brittany Griner only makes a quarter of a million dollars a year, and the average salary in the NBA is $7 million. No, duh. What do you think is driving that? I got news for you. In this society, you get paid according to the jack that you generate for the person who's paying you. Okay, and in terms of its economic worth, that gap of $7 million versus a quarter of a million dollars is just about right. It makes sense. Now understand this. I am pro-women athletics and pro-women athletes, and I support them. And for example, with the women's national soccer team, right on, go for it. And here's the reason. Because you've got the economic value to do it. Because you can rightly claim that your product is as good as or more entertaining than the American men's national soccer product and that it's every bit as economically viable. So when Megan Rapino gets all radical about this, I say, go for it, girl. Brittany Griner, you got no case. You got no case. And again, this is nothing against women's athletics. This is about economic reality. And this idea, well, you know, if this was LeBron James, this would have been cleared up in five minutes. No, it wouldn't have. Are you kidding me? Because LeBron James would have 50 times the hostage value that Brittany Griner does. Do you not understand that? Well, she had to go to Russia to make a living. No, she chose to. And that's fine. And I support that choice. But it wasn't like she was in a bread line here. If she decided she wanted to supplement her income by playing in the summer annually in Russia, that's fine. But then you're accepting the risk. You make less money because you are less economically viable and valuable. And ain't that America? Ain't that the way we do these things? That said, it is imperative that we get Brittany Griner home. Why? 
because she is an American citizen. Okay, um, the president says he's going to Saudi Arabia and he's going to meet with the murderer. I'm against it. We'll just leave it at that for right now. Now you're going to get shamelessly manipulated and cross-promoted. If you will go, hopefully you're there now, to radicallyrational.com and hit the Our News tab and then scroll down. <clears throat> I got this thing I do called It Was My Privilege, Paul's Memorable Encounters. And it's just some vignettes throughout my professional life. I was very heartened yesterday, because I like the guy, to learn that Keith Hernandez has become the third Mets player ever to have his jersey number retired, 17. He played seven of his 17 major league seasons with the Mets, the first 10 with the St. Louis Cardinals. Have I ever told you the story about how Keith Hernandez and I almost got into a no kidding fist fight about 15 seconds after we had met? It's the truth. But like most of these male things, fortunately it ended with a, I love you man moment. That's kind of the way these things work. But if you'll scroll down, you can read that story along with vignettes about the likes of Deacon Jones, hmm, Howie Long, Walter Payton, and Jesse Owens. Wishing you a wonderful Sunday. We are radically rational and always remember, <laughs>